Hi, this is Josh and the West Coast crew with Resort TV One. And we are getting ready to go into Club 33 for my first time. Really excited. And I want to introduce everybody. You already know Britt and Crystal. But this is Britt's mom, Cindy. So we're so delighted. I finally got to meet her. And she's in the streams a lot and chatting. And so it's nice to meet her. And it'll be great to have uh, lunch here at Club 33. Uh, we've never had lunch before. Now, you guys said you hadn't had lunch. Or you had had lunch once. Yeah, we did once. You did once. Okay. So it's going to be cool. Been here either. Yeah. So this is Cindy's first time here. So. We're really super excited. I can't wait to see what it's like and just enjoy the experience. As you can see, we're all dressed nicely and uh, ready to uh, just enjoy some uh, amazing ambiance and just the historic background and nature of Club 33. And we're so thankful for the opportunity to go and do this. So now there's no video inside, so that's why we're doing this introduction outside. And then we'll give you some reaction outside afterwards. But we can also take some pictures and I'll narrate over those and just kind of let you know what the experience is like, show you the food, show you the merchandise, uh, pictures of the inside and things like that. But again, no video inside, just we'll take all kinds of pictures and uh, we will let you know exactly what this is like. But we can't wait to show you this really fortunate experience that we've been so blessed to be able to do. All right, so we are going to go enjoy. So we hope you enjoy this photo tour of Club 33. Let's go do this. Yeah. Oh my goodness, here we go. I'm going to ring the bell and actually get to go in. So here we go. So we have a reservation under Crystal. And before we begin our tour of this amazing place, I just want to let everyone know that you'll see some black bars around the photos on this slideshow because I wanted to make sure I didn't cut anything out. And if I crop the photos so that the black bars disappear, you miss a lot at the top and the bottom of the photo. I tried it both ways and I decided to go ahead and make sure that you saw everything that I saw on these incredible pictures. So without any further ado, let's enjoy. We started our journey through Club 33 in the Court of Angels, and of course it's decorated beautifully for Christmas. You see the Christmas tree and the garland, and there's our whole group enjoying a, a photo on the stairs right before we went up the elevator into Club 33. But this Court of Angels is incredible. It used to be a different place to get in, like we'll show you a little bit later, the original door, but now this is the new entry and it's a lot more grand. And I did some wide angle shots like this so you could really see just how amazing this place is. And those golden doors you can actually see from outside in the park. And there's the elevator we went up into Club 33 here in just a bit. And you can see the table there where people can enjoy some drinks and uh, just wait for their time to be called up into the club. It's just such a beautiful courtyard and I'm glad they changed it so that this is the entry now into Club 33. Really gets you excited for what's to come. And you can kind of see some of the balconies up there. Those are just for decoration, but there's a walkway up there through those archways that we'll show you in just a little bit. And here's the elevator that we decided to go on. Now we could have gone up the stairs, but we just felt like the elevator was a lot of fun and just really, really well decorated. So we wanted to do that for our entry into the club. And there we are in the mirror waiting to go in. And there's the gorgeous ceiling of the elevator, already getting excited about what's to come here. And here's the mosaic tile entryway right before you go in the main door of the club. And this amazing foyer with its great chandelier is our first taste of Club 33 before we go into the Grand Salon dining room. Just so incredible in here. And this is a great harpsichord which has got a really beautiful mural of New Orleans on it. And actually you're going to hear harpsichord music in the background. Harpsichord is different than a piano in that the strings are plucked instead of hit with hammers. And there's that amazing mural. Wow. It's so breathtaking. And this is a very famous grandfather clock, complete with the uh, vulture on the top, which is uh, pretty famous. He talks to you uh, throughout the time that you're in there, so that's pretty interesting. And this is the hallway and the wine rack that leads down to the members only lounge. We didn't get to go in there. But this is the amazing hallway that goes over one of the streets in New Orleans Square that leads us into the Grand Salon dining room. And this is our first kind of taste besides that foyer of the just the exquisite ambiance of this amazing club. This is looking back the other direction towards uh, the main foyer there. And the murals on these walls are just absolutely beautiful. They look like they're depicting scenes in maybe New Orleans or maybe even somewhere in Europe, but here we are in Le Grand Salon dining room. And this room really takes your breath away, especially here at Christmas. Look at that amazing Christmas tree and the way it's decorated. Everything from the ceilings, the curtains, 
the walls, everything is just absolutely exquisite. And it's just really such an amazing thing that I was ab even able to go in there. But you can see that wreath actually right out from the front of New Orleans Square. And it just kind of hints at the amazing things that are inside. And here's another wide angle shot of this amazing dining room. We really enjoyed our time in here. And there's a look towards the hallway where you come in. And one more look at another angle here. I honestly just couldn't stop taking pictures of it and I'm glad we got to spend so much time in here. And even the paintings on the walls are absolutely amazing. That's actually a haunted mansion there, but it looks like it belongs kind of as a plantation in New Orleans. So it's pictured there as it would be as a plantation. The tables are just so amazing. And there's the bar that we kind of sat next to, uh, just with the wine and the glasses ready to go. There's a really cool drawing of uh, Disneyland Sleeping Beauty Castle. And there's Britt and I enjoying the Banks family table from the movie Saving Mr. Banks. And you can see a little bit more about that here in just a second, but it's a beautiful table. And there's a little explanation of what's going on. The Banks family table. So incredible to have it right there. And they actually borrowed it from Club 33 to use in the movie. So it's pretty incredible that it's back with a signed picture. And there's a close up of that Haunted Mansion painting, which is just absolutely amazing. I really would like to have that Haunted Mansion painting, but I know it's not for sale, even as a print. Just so incredible. And now let's look at some of the views from outside up on the balcony there. Really cool views of New Orleans Square down below and just uh, really gives you a bird's eye view of the park. You unfortunately can't see Fantasmic anymore. You used to be able to when the trees were cut shorter, I believe, but, but now it just gives you an incredible view of the park. And you can even eat out there if you choose, but that dining room is just way too amazing to pass up. And there I am out there enjoying the ambiance out on the balcony. I love that wrought iron too, it's just so incredible. There's another angle looking towards, I believe, Pirates of the Caribbean entrance. It's just down the way a little bit. And now we'll see some pictures of the rest of New Orleans Square as seen from the balconies there. It's really a view unlike anything else. And you can see the Christmas decorations throughout New Orleans Square as well. I love how the beads are just thrown up there on the wires. That's pretty awesome. And there you can see some place settings at the tables and everything's just ready to go for any guests that arrive. And here are a couple more angles of the architecture and the decorations from overhead. There's everybody waiting to get into a shop there. I believe there's a meet and greet inside that shop. And those garlands are really cool. They're different on every building. And there I just sat down at a table just to kind of pose for a cool picture just for fun. Britt was trying to get the park behind me so it looks really nice back there. And we'll show the place settings in a little bit more detail here in just a bit. And that's looking out towards one of the trees towards where Fantasmic would be. And that's the other balcony on the other side. There are actually two balconies on each side of the Grand Salon dining room. And I had to take a selfie just to remember the experience there. There's another look at some of that amazing garland and wrought iron all throughout New Orleans Square. And it's unique to Disneyland. There's no other Disney park that has New Orleans Square anywhere. So pretty cool to see that and tour that at Disneyland. And just a few more pictures of the balcony before we go back inside and show you what some of the place settings look like. I used the wide angle feature on my Samsung Galaxy S10 to just get some wide angle pictures of everything just to really give you a sense of the scene. And again, there will be black bars on the outside, but I just wanted to get everything in the picture since there was no video allowed. And there's some of the place settings. We'll look at those a little closer here in just a bit. And there's a beautiful tree and Cafe Orleans outside seating just below. And a couple last looks with the wide angle of the wrought iron and the balconies there. Just so amazing. And now here we are inside and we'll take a closer look at some of the place settings. They really look like gold around the plates and they're just absolutely beautiful. Everything has the Club 33 logo on it and just really makes you feel like you're in a special place. And here's a look at the menu right when you open it up. There's a little story about Club 33 on the left. There it is right there. You can see it a little closer. Of course, put that in portrait mode so it was easier to see. And here's a close up of the menu and you can see you had a choice from each course. You could choose first, second, third, fourth, course all the way through there being with the fourth course being dessert and there's the outside of the menu and now we're looking at some pictures of the drink menu and of course as you might expect at a place like this um, there's a very extensive drink menu we'll try the Tom and Jerry out here just a little bit later in the slideshow but you can see some of the things that are available there and there's a look at the place setting with the menu in the background I love the artwork on the menu just so amazing and here's a picture of my first course so I actually got the smoked trout apple parfait really amazing and actually 
I haven't tried a lot of things like this before, but it was just incredible to eat. And here's a look at the roasted beet carpaccio. The really incredible dish, and this is actually a first course that wasn't on the menu, and I believe it's some type of pancake. And here is the bread that they gave us, and the bread was absolutely outstanding. It had a really nice garlic flavor with a little bit of olive oil on it and was incredible. Even the bread bowl has the Club 33 logo on it. And I actually tried the hot buttered cider as my drink. It was really amazing. Pretty strong, but had an amazing flavor. And here's a story. You may want to pause the video for just a minute here and read this story about the $1,500 an ounce cognac that they have there. It's really exclusive and has an amazing story. Of course, we didn't try that, but there's some of the other prestige spirits that they offer, as you'd expect in a club like this, but pretty incredible to see those on the menu. And here's a look at my second course before they poured the pumpkin soup on it. This is the autumn pumpkin soup with duck confit, and there it is with the pumpkin soup on it, and it was absolutely incredible. I haven't had anything like this before, but I was so glad that I tried it. Had a great flavor, the pumpkin wasn't too strong, and the onion made for just an incredible experience with this dish. And Britt was actually able to get grilled cheese for his second course because they cater to anybody and whatever they want, and Britt thought that sounded good, so he grabbed the grilled cheese for his second course. And here's a look at the Waldorf salad with Honeycrisp apple. That's the other option for the second course. Really amazing. But by far the food highlight of our entire experience at Club 33 was the filet mignon. It was absolutely to die for. It had this flavor that was just unmistakably amazing. Had a garlic, kind of a salt flavor to it, and just was so juicy, so soft, and so tender. We honestly never wanted the experience to end. It literally is probably the best, if not in the top two steaks I've ever had. The other one in that category would be one that I had at the Yachtsman Steakhouse. But this one was just absolutely incredible, and wow, it was an amazing experience. Speaking of incredible experiences, the pumpkin cheesecake that I had for dessert was absolutely incredible as well. It was very sweet, and again, just like the pumpkin soup, the pumpkin flavor wasn't overwhelming, it was just nice and sweet and rich, so I really loved it. And Britt had the Valhrona chocolate Elvis cake, which was really amazing. He said he really enjoyed it, but that it also was very rich. But you'd expect that of a dessert at a place like this for sure. And this is the baked warm pear tart. Cindy had this one and said it was incredible as well. And I really love the presentation. All these foods are just presented in such a beautiful way. And Crystal had the warm citrus upside down cake. And because Crystal is vegan, this is naturally a vegan option. So that was really incredible for her as well. And you may have seen the Tom and Jerry listed earlier in the drink menu. If not, you can go back and look at that. But Cindy and I had these and Crystal actually wanted the mugs and the bowl, but not the drink. So she ordered that and Cindy and I got to taste those and they were absolutely incredible. I've never had a Tom and Jerry before and these were just really amazing. And the mugs are beautiful as you can see as well. So this is a really cool set that Crystal was happy to have. And here's Crystal enjoying a mixed drink called a hurricane. And here we are at our table. We asked the waitress to take a few pictures of us and she did a great job. It's really cool just to see different angles there. You can see the bar that was behind us. And here's Krista with her shopping haul. The bags are so incredible here at the club. There you can see a little bit closer look at the bag. And even the tissue paper inside the bag has the logo on it. It's just really a lot of attention to detail. And of course we had to take a selfie on the balcony just to capture this moment. And let's take a look at some of the merchandise. They had some amazing things for sale there, of course, as you might expect. Here they had some new arrivals with some different artwork kind of showcasing the club and some of the ambiance around the club. Even a phone case for an iPhone 11 Pro you can see by the big camera cut out there. And they even had a vintage Mickey and Minnie, keychains, golf balls, playing cards. I already have the Club 33 hat. Jenna got the Club 33 ears last time. And this time she got the Club 33 ear hat. And I'm going to show you some of the merchandise here in just a bit. And there you can see the Club 33 ornament that I'll show you in just a bit. I actually got that. And just a few more things. Keychain, keys, towels, glasses, all kinds of stuff. I love that Club 33 frame door. It was a little bit more expensive than what any of us wanted to pay, but it was just really beautiful. And that castle is beautiful as well. And they even had some Club 33 jewelry, watches, all kinds of stuff. There's another look and you can zoom in if you want to see some of the prices. There's another better look at that ornament, which again, I'll show you here in just a bit. And they also had some Club 33 Dooney and Burke handbags for women, as well as some water bottles there. And there's a few more things of that new art style. And there's the Mickey and Minnie with the Club 33 outfits on. 
And this is a Club 33 Haunted Mansion shirt, which was really, really cool. And just next to the merchandise cabinet there is uh, another Club 33 logo in the wooden floor. There's another picture of that amazing chandelier. So all that is in the same room, the merchandise, the chandelier, the harpsichord, everything there in the same room, and a lot of really cool crystal as well. And there's Mickey and Minnie, and I'll show them here in just a little bit closer view here in just a bit. But they came out to meet guests at Club 33 right there in that amazing foyer. And there they are meeting with Crystal, and I love those outfits. I've never seen them wear those before. I'm not sure. Leave me a comment if you've ever seen those before. But there I got a nice picture with Mickey and Minnie, and uh, really cool. Again, those outfits were just beautiful. And actually, Mickey and Minnie were having a lot of fun because it wasn't super busy, not a lot of guests in the club, so they were posing for several pictures as we were standing there just kind of hanging out after lunch there. So they were having a great time showing us different poses and just enjoying being together. And here's a little closer look at that beautiful harpsichord keyboard that I showed you earlier. And of course I had to pose for a picture in front of it with the merchandise I bought. Uh, the majority of it was for Jenna because, you know, she needed all the things. But I got a few things for myself as well we'll show in just a bit. And that's a beautiful painting of the Golden Horseshoe Review here at Disneyland. Wow. And here's a look from the balcony back down at the Court of Angels. We're almost on our way out of the club, sadly. But I wanted to take a wide-angle shot or two here just to show the amazing grandness of the space. Love that Christmas tree down there as well. And just a few more here. I really just couldn't stop taking pictures of this area. It's so incredible. And here's Britt and I checking out a phone booth here, antique phone booth with a phone that actually works. You have to ask the cast members, but you can actually make a phone call on this. And it's really incredible and just beautiful woodworking on this. There I am standing inside. And we didn't make a phone call, we didn't want to bother the cast members, but it's just really cool that it works and uh, that it's there and just such a beautiful antique. And there's a beautiful fountain right outside the phone booth, which is close to the bathrooms. Now you can't take any pictures of the bathrooms for obvious reasons, but those were absolutely breathtaking as well. And even the Club 33 logo on the way into the foyer right above the door there, I just saw that on the way out. It's pretty incredible. And here's a really nice sign for the Court of Angels. And actually, everyone used to be able to walk through this courtyard. I remember doing it back in 2005 when the Club 33 entrance was in its original location. And earlier, I forgot to add this picture of us with Mickey and Minnie. That was really fun. And finally, right at the end, we had our picture taken right there in the Court of Angels with all of our merchandise. And of course, here I am with all the merch because, you know, Jenna had a huge shopping list for me. And speaking of that, Right now, I'm going to show you some of the merch a little bit closer up now that I'm at home. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at some of the merchandise here now that I'm home. So, this is the ornament that we got that I showed you earlier, and you can see that it really is just a miniature version of the table inside the club itself. It's really just so detailed and beautiful. So amazing. And on the other side is actually kind of a replica of the wrought iron balconies on the outside of the club. So... Again, this is a really great ornament. It was actually $50, but it's just so detailed and so incredibly painted and uh, just designed here that it was really worth that. And of course, it's a little bit big. You can see it next to my hand to hang on the tree. Uh, so we'll probably be setting it up somewhere nice, but I just really love all the detail. Even if I can get the camera to focus there, even the plates, wow, and the chairs, everything is just so detailed. And Jenna also got the Club 33 ear hat, which is really neat. And this Haunted Mansion pen is really something special. You can see uh, the Club 33 logo there. And then if I pick the pen up to get it a little bit better in the light, look at that. It is the basically the Club 33 door with the Haunted Mansion logo in the background and kind of a Haunted Mansion styling on it. This is for the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion, and that's why they made these pens. So that's a special, very limited edition pen. And here we have a Club 33 keychain, which is really neat. Those were only $15 each. I believe the pen was $30. And over here, there is a women's t-shirt that Jenna got. So that's really nice. It's a women's cut. It's a little bit shorter in the sleeves. And that one was $40, I believe. So a little bit expensive on the t-shirt. Uh, but everything else, pretty reasonably priced, especially for such a nice place. So this is the Club 33 merchandise that we got this time. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed the slideshow of our amazing time inside of Club 33. 
it was absolutely unbelievable, better than I even dreamed or thought it would be. And um, I'm just still kind of on a high from, from being there and just having that experience. Um, it's incredible, I was just showing the, uh, the hallway up here, which is one of the hallways you walk through to get to the main restaurant area and everything. So that was pretty neat to just be able to be inside of that after looking up at it and all the different balconies for so long and just getting to be inside of there. And this is the original Club 33 door actually right behind us. That's why we're filming this here. So you don't actually go in that way. You saw the video earlier of, uh, of me ringing the doorbell. That's where you go in. Um, so yeah, so that's just down, the, just down the street just a little bit. So probably technically not at the address 33 yeah. anymore. We did find out, by the way, the origin of Club 33 in the menu you probably saw in, in the slideshow was just the address. So it is actually 33 Duval Street here. So that's the address. It wasn't about investors or anything like that, but Walt Disney did want a place to bring people, VIPs and people like that. So that's why he originally uh, made the designs and, and uh, made that happen. He, he unfortunately was not alive when it opened. We saw it was 67 and, and he passed away before that. But incredible experience. We were talking about the food just a little bit. The food was amazing. Um, three of us had the filet mignon crystal. What did you have? Yes, and in a place like that, it's really cool. You can get crystal is vegan, so you can get options for people with special dietary needs, yes. which is really, really incredible. Hey guys, look, it's Jack Skellington. <laughs> I kind of wish he'd come over here and interact with like us. <laughs> that just makes it more real. So. So everything was amazing. The filet mignon is literally one of the best steaks I've ever had. That was absolutely incredible. The best one before this was the Yachtsman for me, so still at a Disney property. But um, And it, even the desserts and everything. I tried several different things. We had a pumpkin duck soup, um, and I, or I had that, and I also tried. Uh, so that was actually really, really good. I thought the pumpkin was going to be too strong, but uh, actually it was really smooth. The onion made for a great flavor along with the duck. So, and then um, we had the dessert, which was a uh, pumpkin cheesecake. And now, what did you guys have? Uh, I had the Elvis cake, which was very good. A little rich on the chocolate, but it was yeah. good. Cool. I had the pear tart, which was very good. It looked good. And I had the pineapple upside down cake. And that was, that was good as well? Yeah, it was vegan. Yeah, it was vegan <laughs> by default. Ah, so it didn't even have to be made differently. Yeah. That was good. So. All in all, it was, a, it was just an unbelievable experience. I, I'm running out of adjectives to describe it. Uh, we, came, we went in at 11, it's now uh, almost 4 p.m., so we did definitely maximize our time in there. We got lots of pictures, I'm sure you saw on the slideshow. Probably wouldn't even be able to include actually all of them in there, but it's just, um, just a dream come true. So a big thank you to the West Coast crew for making it happen. Uh, it was great to be able to meet Brit's mom, Cindy, and especially in, in such a great experience like this. So, because she had never been before either. So, so anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, just and thank you as well, because without you and without this channel, you know, we never would have met the amazing West Coast crew if we weren't doing this. And uh, you know, without people watching, there wouldn't be any reason for us to do this. So we're just so thankful that for all the opportunities we've had, just because of you guys supporting us and because of all of our friends supporting us. So. Thank you to them and thank you to everybody for watching. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, definitely be sure to, again, leave us a like and a comment. That really helps. And subscribe if you haven't already done so. Also, be sure to check out our sponsors, MickeyBlog.com and MickeyTravels.com for the best in free Disney vacation planning advice. Talk to MickeyTravels.com to book your next trip to Disney. Also, if you're thinking about moving to Central Florida, talk to Victor Naraki at CelebratingFlorida.com or Facebook.com slash Naraki Realtor and tell him that Resort TV One sent you. And finally, if you'd like to save money on your TV bill so that you can go to Disney faster, check out cordcuttersnews.com or youtube.com slash cordcuttersnews. So that's all for now, everybody. So for now, have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye bye